Why do we spritz barbecue? There are two main arguments against spritzing. First, you'll wash away all of your seasoning, and second, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Let's start with number one. Before you spritz, you need to let your bark start to set. The first spritz shouldn't happen until after about 90 minutes or so. Spritzing will moisten your seasonings and help create that beautiful bark that great barbecue is known for. Also, if your spritz contains sugar, like apple juice, it'll help caramelize your bark, which improves both color and texture. Now, as for the if you're looking, you ain't cooking argument, yes, I agree that you don't want to be opening your pit repeatedly because you want to keep that temp steady. But if you open your pit, spritz your meat, and shut it right back down, you're not going to affect the temperature of your pit by very much. Spritzing isn't meant to enhance the flavor of your meat, but it can enhance the smokiness because moisture attracts smoke. Whether or not you spritz your meat is between you and your taste buds. It's not absolutely necessary, but now you know why so many pitmasters spritz their meat.